Oh man, I've been through a lot now. I've been through way too much, but hopefully things change. We got ourselves a combustion, and then we got... What's good, everybody? Darkhole here, back at it again with another video. And in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves yet another hunt for the Golden Ultra Necrozma. And I hope, I really, really hope that I pull that card in today's video, because if we don't, I am officially done with Dragon Majesty ETBs, ladies and gentlemen, because it is, they're expensive. That's all I'm going to say. First and foremost, they are expensive. They are $50 ETBs. That is more expensive than your average Pokemon ETB, which is around $40. So, guys, let me go ahead and show you real quick what we got. So, we got a Dragon Majesty ETB, but that's not it. I'm trying to grab one more down here if I can even grab it. Here it is right here, guys. Two Dragon Majesty ETBs that we're going to be opening up in today's video. So, it's going to be crazy. We're going to be opening up a total of 20 booster packs in just one video. So, I'm hoping that we get this golden Ultra Necrozma, because if we don't, then I probably put in so much money on ETBs, I should have just bought the card instead of trying to pull it. But like I mentioned in the past, it feels so much better when you actually pull a rare card rather than buying it. So, if you guys are excited for today's video, y'all already know the drill. Smash that like button, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and welcome, and turn on that bell for post notifications just so you never miss a video because if you do leave a comment down below you could be featured in a video if you put the hashtag ghoul army after your comment like these individuals right here enough talking though guys enough talking let me go ahead and just open these up we're not going to be looking at the contents within because there is no point in looking at what you've already seen for like the hundredth time so give me one second Alrighty guys, so I got all of the booster packs out of the ETBs, and like I said, we got a total of 20 booster packs. So we have 20 shots at getting the Golden Ultra Necrozma. If I do not get it, I am going to cry. But so guys, before we get into this opening, we have to pray to Lord Helix. We have to, guys. So we got to spread out the packs just so they're visible all over the place. And let's pray, guys. Let us pray to Lord Helix. Lord Helix, please, I beg you to at least put one Golden Ultra Necrozma in one of these booster packs. That's all I asked for because I've spent so much money in Dragon Majesty ETBs. I feel like I deserve it. And maybe, maybe, can you also include one large pizza and maybe a side of buffalo wings, you know, chicken wings, so I can enjoy it with the pizza. And maybe some crazy bread as well, you know, some soft, warm bread, so I can dip it in that marinara sauce. Maybe just deliver that to my door and I'll be so appreciative. <laughs> But most importantly, all I want is the Golden Ultra Necrozma. That's all I want. Amen. Alrighty, guys. Now that we prayed, we can officially dive into these packs. We got 20 booster packs of Dragon Majesty. Let's see how this goes, man. Let's see how this goes. Diving into our first booster pack, ladies and gentlemen. And y'all already know you guys get to keep every single code. So I'm pretty sure you guys have been enjoying, you know, those code cards from all the Dragon Majesty products we've opened up on the channel so far. But like I said, in today's video, it might determine if I stop buying Dragon Majesty ETBs. So we got a Totodile, and then we got the Charizard Holographic, which is actually a very, very nice pull to get because it's Charizard, bruh. Any Charizard card you get is a definite banger. So we're going to go ahead and put the pulls right there. And I need, I think I need like 10 cards left to actually complete this set. So I'm very, very near in completing a master set of Dragon Majesty. If that's something you guys do want to see, let me know in the comments down below. But guys, before I get too ahead of myself, let me go ahead and say the question of the day. And that question, it's kind of like a nostalgic throwback question. We got a Zekrom holographic right there. We're going to go ahead and put them side by side. I almost forgot something. The star of the show. We got the Charizard on the stand for now. But as I was saying, guys, the question of the day is going to be, what generation of Pokemon did you start on? Did you start on Generation 1, Generation 2, Generation 3, and so forth? Personally, myself, 
I started on Generation 1, but my favorite generation is the Johto region, which is Generation 2. But the question is, when did you start, you know, collecting, liking Pokemon? Was it Generation 1, 2, 3, and so on? Let me know in the comments down below, ladies and gentlemen. So we got ourselves a Croconaw in the cut, and then we got an Altaria GX. Let's get it. The first GX of the video. Y'all already know what it is, man. Getting in that banger because this Altaria is actually pretty playable i believe and i'm pretty sure the baby altaria is as well which is the holographic altaria so very very nice pool to start things off it's not a golden necrozma but it's still something absolutely amazing guys so let's keep on going let's keep on going man i got high hopes for this etb we set our prayers to lord helix so hopefully hopefully lord helix hears us out and you know spares us the chance in getting the golden necrozma so we got ourselves a lance prism star and honestly these lance prism stars i'm not even gonna do you know like a special sound effect for him because they, i've pulled way too many of these lance prism stars and it's not gonna be fair you know to all the other holographics that i get i might put like you know something slight but nothing too dramatic and crazy moving on to this charizard pack man moving on to that zard everybody hopefully i can get either a charizard or a golden necrozma that's all i want i mean guys i've been searching for this card for so long i feel like it's coming it has to be coming because everybody else is pulling this card besides me and it's making me jealous even you guys you know the fans the ghoul army you guys are telling me on instagram that you've been pulling the gold ultra necrozma you guys have been sending me screenshots and i'm jealous man i'm jealous we got the altaria holographic which is a very playable card it's like a two dollar three dollar card at the moment so it's actually very very nice to get one of these as well as the charizard so let's keep on going y'all let's keep on going i believe this is the fifth pack that we've opened up right now so we're still we still got a lot of chances left for that necrozma man i'm just hoping for a full art a secret rare very very soon because I'm hoping for at least two of them. I feel like there is like a full art, a secret rare in every ETB of Dragon Majesty you get. That's what I've seen though. From what I've seen, every single ETB I've gotten, did I just say ETV? But every single ETB I've gotten, I always get, you know, at least one of each rarity is what it seems like. On to the next one, y'all. On, on to the next one. On to the next one. We got that Salamence booster pack. Hopefully the goods are in here. We need the goods, y'all. We need them goods. So let's go ahead and see what we get out of this pack right here. We got that lightning energy holographic. And then we got the Charizard holographic. Two Zards in one pack. And I almost forgot something. I almost forgot something. I'm pretty sure you guys are actually going to comment down below. But I actually forgot to switch out Charizard in Altaria. Because y'all already know Altaria definitely beats Charizard for the star of the show. Because it's our only ultra rare pool that we've gotten thus far. I mean, don't get me wrong. No hate on Lance. But it's just a Prism Star. It's not like a regular GX card. So Altaria definitely takes the cake for that. So let's go ahead and give you guys the next code card right there. Let's go ahead and do four to the front. And so far... We haven't pulled a holographic or nothing along those lines. And it's actually starting to worry me a bit because, like I said, I'm hoping for at least, you know, maybe one to two holographics or something along those lines. So let's see if it's inside this Dragonite pack, guys. So here is the code card for you guys right there. One, two, three, and four. And so far, we are not getting anything. And I'm actually getting worried because I can actually see the stack of packs to the side. It's getting way too small. And we got the Salazzle Reverse and then the Kiram Holographic. I actually needed the Salazzle for my personal master set. So very, very happy I got that. How many packs we got left, though? We got three, six, nine, 10 11 booster packs left already oh boy oh boy oh boy so this is basically the 10th pack right here and if i don't get a full art or nothing along those lines one of the etbs were basically a bust so that is unfortunate guys and our luck is running out it is running out guys so right now smash that like button if you haven't because I need that support. I need that emotional support right now because your boy, I'm about to cry. I am literally legit going to cry. So let's go ahead and do four to the front and let's see what we get out of this booster pack right here, guys. So we got ourselves a Charmeleon Holographic and a Kamo'o Hollow. 
I did call that Charmeleon holographic, but I meant to say that. I meant to say it because reverses could be holographics, could they not? I'm just kidding. It's just a reverse. But guys, we have 10 packs left, y'all. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram, I suggest you follow me on Instagram right now because I do actually have a giveaway running on my Instagram. It's for like a Pikachu PSA card. So if you guys want to win a PSA card, follow me on my Instagram because you will have a chance on winning that. Link will be in the description as well as on the screen right here. So we got ourselves a Komoo reverse holographic. And then we got... Oh, we got that Solomence J freaking X, y'all. Very, very nice. I barely pull any of these Solomence regular arts. That's why every time I see one, I'm just like, damn, that's a beautiful card. Should it replace Altaria, though? Honestly, it can't because I'm pretty sure that Altaria is worth and more playable than that Solomence. I can't be biased and, you know, just go and put the cards I love on the star of the show. It has to be legit the best pulls out of the entire opening and whatnot. So we got ourselves some more common and uncommon action going on right here. We got another Salazzle Reverse and another Komoo Hala Graphic. How many packs we got left, y'all? We got three, six, seven, eight. Oh, man. I'm, I'm getting scared now. I am getting really, really scared because if I don't get the Ultra Necrozma in these ETBs, then I'm done with ETBs and I am only going to buy the pin blister packs because I feel like these ETBs, you know, they are against my odds is what it seems like. Because this is probably my 11th or 10th ETB I've opened up of Dragon Majesty and we haven't gotten the Golden Ultra Necrozma. But we did get another Charizard Holographic, so always always nice to get a charizard holographic and i'm actually trying to grade one of these so hopefully one of these are a psa gem mint 10 out of all the charizard cards we've pulled in so here is the next code card for you guys right here i believe this is like the fifth pack and we still have at least four more packs left so i don't know man i don't know at this point lord healers why are you doing your boy dirty why are you doing your boy dirty so we got that Blaine's Last Stand and that Kiram Holographic. Let's count up how many packs, y'all. Is it six? It's five. No, it's six. It's six. Okay. So this pack right here is like the whatever pack. And then those five. Those are the final five, ladies and gentlemen. So here is the next code card for you guys right there. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. All I'm hoping for. That's all I want. Literally the golden Ultra Necrozma. And it's okay if you give me dud after dud after dud in future packs. Like, I, I don't even mind if you give me dud packs of Dragon Majesty for the rest of the products that are going to be releasing. All I want is the golden Ultra Necrozma, man. We've been on this hunt for quite some time now. And we've got no sign no other ultra rare or secret rare so far we are basically on a dud streak right now we've gotten way too many regular holographics in today's opening bro so let's go ahead and just do four to the front and at this point i kind of give up y'all i kind of give up so let's go ahead and see what else do we have a blaine's last stand and a hydragon holographic okay let's see what we got left y'all we got one of each pack art so we're gonna save the rest you ran for last Solomance, Charizard, and we're going to start things off with this Dragonite right here because usually I don't get anything good in Dragonite packs. Not like it matters, but from my experience, I haven't gotten anything dope in a Dragonite booster pack. So let's go ahead and see what we get out of this next Dragonite pack right here. And I see something. Really? Really? After I talk smack about Dragonite, I actually get something from the pack. So we got a Lapras and a White Kyurem GX, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely beautiful right there. Check out that White Kyurem GX. Look at the red on the Kyurem. It looks like, you know, tubing, like blood is flowing through it. It just looks absolutely beautiful, guys. White Kyurem GX, but wow, we haven't gotten any type of card to actually knock off that Altaria from the stand right there. That's actually pretty crazy because pretty much any full art could knock off that Altaria, but we haven't even gotten one full art in this opening. So let's go ahead and put four to the front. Let's see what we get, y'all. Let's see what we get out of this next opening. We got another Ultra Rare, two back-to-back, -back, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. Finally, our odds are finally changing. So we got a Shell Gun, and then we got that Reshiram GX action going on right here. 
another beautiful and majestic card right here however it does not take down the altaria gx and ladies and gentlemen we officially have two booster packs left Solomance and reshiram Solomance and reshiram don't let me down Solomance. do not let me down because you are the second to last pack we need at least one full art one secret rare or something along those lines y'all so let's go ahead and do four to the front let's see what we get y'all let's see what we get out of this next booster pack we got a vibrava and then we got a kiram <sighs> holographic everybody kiram holographic ladies and gentlemen it all comes down to this booster pack right here the final pack of the dragon majesty etb i opened up two for today's video and so far so far guys it has been a very very rough journey man it's been a rough journey no golden ultra necrozma yet and if i don't pull it in this booster pack i'm gonna stop buying etbs because it's 50 dollars per etb bro i'm literally i can't even afford anymore so i'm gonna have to buy the pin collection boxes from now on and not these etbs because it's just it's just absolutely crazy that we haven't gotten anything super super dope but it's all good it's all good i gotta stay humble i gotta stay humble y'all last pack though here is the last code card for today's video and let's see what we get guys four to the front can we get something absolutely amazing ladies and gentlemen okay alrighty guys we got ourselves a dratini let me get that focus in right quick we got ourselves a milotic heat more cedra Theo, and then we got a please 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 don't let me down it is a for alligator holographic man oh my god Why? okay i'm gonna stop that was absolutely ugly i apologize for that but guys i kind of don't want to stop here bro i don't want to stop here i want to keep opening up some more dragon majesty so give me one second alrighty guys so i decided to grab two more pin collection boxes of the latios and latios these are absolutely the last pin collection boxes that i own so after today's video i own absolutely zero dragon majesty products so this is it guys this is it Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I got all the packs out of the blisters. Here is the code cards right here for you guys. The Latios right there, and then we got the Latios. But like I mentioned, these are the final packs. After this, I don't have any more packs of Dragon Majesty. So we're going to go ahead and save Reshiram, Charizard, Reshiram, Dragonite, Reshiram, and Dragonite. And let's just see how this goes, y'all. Let's see how this goes man one more pack or at least six more packs hopefully we can at least get something that will be better than that altaria gx because if we don't i am seriously going to lose it and let's go ahead and see what we get out of this next booster pack y'all so we got ourselves an altaria holographic okay it's not too bad not too bad because that is a very playable card and it also at least has some type of value so let's get into this uh reshiram pack right here come on reshiram don't let your boy down i worship you so much i feel like you should never let me down because i never let you down so let's go ahead and do four to the front y'all and let's see what we get out of this next and almost final booster pack guys so we got a charizard and a metal energy or steel energy i should say i don't know why i say metal sometimes it slips out but we got ourselves another yet another charizard holographic ladies and gentlemen we got a dragonite booster pack this is actually the last booster pack from one of the pin blisters so if there's nothing in here then one of these pin blisters were basically a dud so let's go ahead and give you guys everything from here we got a blaine's last stand this might be my last stand blaine so i might be with you on this one we got three packs left though two reshiram and one charizard oh man I'm, I'm over it after this i'm seriously gonna be over dragon majesty and i am also going to be over freaking golden necrozma guys so let me get that focus in right quick and let's see what we get man this is almost gonna be the final pack we got a hollow why am i not surprised a hollow <laughs> a hollow guys oh my god i love it here is next code card for you guys right there man I hope you guys are getting the golden ultra necrozma in your packs because 
Oh man, I've been through a lot now. I've been through way too much, but hopefully things change. We got ourselves a combustion, and then we got Blade's Last Stand, full freaking art. At least we got something, you know, that's a full art or better, and it is the Blade's Last Stand. Altaria can finally get off that card stand, and we can finally put on the homie Blaine. The bald-headed legend, everybody. Blaine, a.k.a. The fire gym leader, the seventh gym leader from Kanto. So here is the final pack, the actual official final pack for today's video. Let's see what it is, man. Let's see what it is. So here is the code card for you guys right here. Let's go ahead and do four to the front. I'm pretty sure it's four. Yeah, it's four. And I already, I already feel it's a hollow. It's a Kamo'o, man. It is a Kamo'o. I'm done. I'm done. It's a wrap for me. It, it's, it's a wrap, guys. I'm done. Do I need to do a recap? Because I kind of don't feel like doing one. Without further ado, guys, the star of the show is Blaine's Last Stand, aka the best pool that we got in today's video. And I'm pretty sure this card is worth like around seven to ten dollars because it's actually dropping dramatically since you know Dragon Majesty is out. You know the prices are going down as people pull more of the card. Without further ado, guys. Like I said, ETBs, I'm done with those. We are now moving on to pin collections. I might buy like, you know, 10 pin collections in the near future if I have the money to spare. But without further ado, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here, man. Smash that like button for one prayer to Dark Ghoul because, I don't know, man. We need to pray more harder to Lord Helix because it's not cutting it. It is not cutting it. But one day, ladies and gentlemen, one day we will pull that golden necrozma mark my words it is coming i feel like in the next dragon majesty opening it might be the one it might be the one without further ado guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace